Hello everybody, I'm Alberto and I am one of the MATLAB student ambassadors here at Polytechnic of Milan. Today I want to show you some simulink tips and tricks about the model reference. Let's see what's inside. Ok, first of all, let's understand what's a model reference. It's the capability to implement a simulink model inside another one. What does it mean? It means that if you consider this as a simulink model, so a main that contains some variable, a subsystem and a, um, a display, it will be, um, if we want to implement the model reference, a main that contains the parameters and the display and another model reference file system that contain the subsystem that does the computation. Why is this so important and will increase the performance of uh, the uh, system? Let's see. The advantages are the modular development. I can stitch together different blocks to build the overall system and this is very helpful to um, use different components from different um, sources to uh, speed up your building. Then the model protection. I can protect each block uh, to avoid the um, possibility to uh, change some uh, parameters and to hide the complexity uh, uh, of some blocks to the final user. Then there's the possibility to inclusion by the reference. So I can use multiple time with redundant copies. So if I, let's say I have uh, four instances of the same subsystem into the big uh, main uh, file, I can uh, point four time the same subsystem, the same model reference, and this will um, light up so, um, the, the, the system. So we don't need to copy four times the same file, but we can use one and point it four times. Then there's a possibility to do the incremental loading. I can build some, uh, let's say, layer. I can build a model reference that, that contains um, that is contained by another one that is contained by the another one. So it can be uh, pile one above each other to uh, build uh, the overall system. And then about the advantages, there's a possibility to use acceleration. So I can uh, compute the code just in time to speed up the, mm, the computation. So uh, as you see, um, Simulink has the possibility to use the acceleration mode that compute the code just in time to, the, to run the script and if you need to uh, repeat it iteratively, will uh, speed up the performance. Then the possibility to use the incremental code generation. So if you uh, build uh, the code for one block and then you need to um, use this block into another system you will not need to rebuild the code of the block because you have uh, the possibility to integrate it directly into the overall system and so this is the capability to use incremental code generation and then the possibility to use independent set configuration it means that if one block need to let's say uh, go into some type of uh, fixed step, uh, variable step, or some type of uh, parameters, you can go into the um, settings of the model and you can adjust it and will not affect the overall system. So it's very smart and very convenient. How we can build this type of blocks? First of all, we need to create a subsystem. So as usual, easy peasy, we can select the system and click create subsystem, easy. Okay, then second, we need to select uh, block parameters and then treat it as an atomic unit. So it means that uh, the Simulink will uh, consider the block as something that has an input and an output and it's unitary, will not be uh, split uh, during the uh, computation. And then the, we need to create the model reference. So we need to convert to and then select reference the model. It will generate the model reference. Okay. But what if we want to uh, protect this type of model? Let's see. We need to create the protecting model. So we can, um, once we have built the, the model reference, we can select another, uh, let's say, um, character, another uh, string that uh, pops up that is 
create a protected and it's open this window that can allow us to select how we want to protect this and uh, we, we have different op option we can use a read only so we can see but not write we can use the simulation so we cannot even see what's inside but we can only um, have the block and say there's something in input and something in output and then there's the, there's the third one that is the cogeneration we can cogenerate it on our pc and then deploy already the code that is something helpful if we don't want uh, anyone to access to what's inside our block and now let's see in matlab and simulink how to build this here we are so as we said first step select what we want to be the model reference so we leave out the um, let's say the, the the source and the, the display then we can select right click and then create transistor from selection rough perfect now what we need to do now okay we fix this perfect okay right click Okay, beautiful. We no longer call it subsystem, but we can say uh, it's a, a cylinder. Okay, perfect. Right click. Block parameter subsystem. Perfect. Then, treat as atomic unit. Okay. Now it becomes with the, um, the contour line a little bit thicker. Then, right click again. Okay, subsystem and model reference, convert to referenced model, perfect. Now we'll pop up a function, a uh, Windows, that will do some type of computation in order to ensure that our model is capable to be uh, model reference computed. So, first of all, we need convert, we click convert, it start the conversion with a sequence of checks in order to, to be sure that our model can be uh, computed and exported into another simulation. Okay. If all the steps work. Okay, perfect. As you can see here, Cylinder 0 is our new model reference because it has this type of, let's say, parentheses here on the uh, angles. And if I go here, Cylinder 0, we can see that now there's a file system, a simulation, simulink file, that has, it's like a subsystem, so one, one out, one in, and has all the parameters. Then I want to show you how to compute the protection of this. So right click, oh, I copy it. So you can see here, you can click create multiple instances of the same one. And let's say this one, we want to protect it. Okay, right click. Simulate and model reference, create protection, and now I can say, okay, I need a simulate. Perfect. Password, uh, I can put one. I can I can avoid to put one. Okay, create, and of course, there's, you, you can specify what is the the, um, the folder you want to create it. Okay, it's okay. We, we, the one we selected. Okay. It's unsaved. Big problem. Fix. Perfect. Now we have saved the cylinder zero. Again, same procedure. Tac. Create protected. Create. It will take some seconds. You can see here. Uploading model reference sim target. And this will not affect the um, performance of the system because you only put a protection and you avoid to see what's inside. You, you will not uh, um, change the, uh, the parameters. Okay, here we are. 
and as you can see now there's this little icon here on the top on the top on the bottom corner if I double click it I no longer can go inside and also there's an interesting uh, thing if I put several copies of the same subsystem into the model all of them are protected so I don't have to worry if uh, I forget to protect some part of my code because uh, I need to, to, go to go down to several several let's say subsystem or uh, steps of uh, buildings if I protect one of them one subsystem all of them are protected okay perfect let's switch back to the slide speaking about performance analysis uh, i want to show you that i run different tests the one that is the startup it means that from scratch we build the simulation and it uh, load all the parameters and create the overall workspace and then three runs of the same um, file in order to see if the performance are consistent and as we can see clearly the model reference is the best one runs faster okay i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you want to see other content from matlab italy uh, follow our channel and uh, if you like this video and the other one please leave a, th a thumb up and uh, uh, share this content with your friends thank you and see you next time